Well, I'd heard about Rainbow Serpent for years, and then I went online, and my friends had gone last year, and I just, they had an art grants application, and so I applied for an art grant and got it and came over. Uh, well, we've created a nest. We were trying to give it a name, the love nest or a dream nest or make out nest. We, <laughs> we don't know. Um, but I go around and I create sacred space out of whatever I, I can I can find, and hopefully it's a space where people feel safe and feel connected to the earth and connected to themselves and connected to spirit on some level, whatever form that takes for them. At festivals, there's not always a lot of uh, context for what people are experiencing, especially if they're, you know, tripping or having an ex you know that kind of experience. And so this this kind of space gets people to like really ground out or feel safe or feel warm or feel love or you know whatever they need to feel but I just want people to be able to see the earth and connect to her on whatever level they they can you know it took three days with seven people um, on all this you know on and off I mean we took breaks and stuff but yeah pretty much all day every day for three days and I'm not attached to it so I'll, I'll be coming here and do maintenance and see how it, how it holds up It'll change, you I know, mean, everything will kind of wilt a little bit or whatever, you know, things start to go back to the earth pretty quick. But um, I think, you know, the, the nest will stay intact and the nest will probably stay intact long after we're gone, hopefully. One of my biggest inspirations here at the festival is Alex Gray. I mean, he's definitely on my top five all-time favorite artists and he treats art as a spiritual practice and that's kind of what this has become for me as a spiritual practice and it's my process of like healing my relationship with the earth and with myself and it's also just my, my own personal process of, uh, of awakening and like opening up my heart space when I'm in the creative process and I'm going through and creating something beautiful then everything else kind of like goes away and I'm just able to meditate and become more clear and more open and and then I'm able to connect with people more this is how I connect with the world it's really easy for me to connect with people this way that's like the there's no, the, the layer um, or the boundary of separation falls between me and others and between me and any, all the energies pretty much and that's it's my process of becoming like one with everything I guess <laughs>